my former colleague, uh, Professor Nakanishi, and I are going to give you some comments about four really good presentations that the judges watched yesterday and all of you watched as well. And I think by looking at these videos one at a time with our comments, I hope everyone can learn something to help you to improve your presentations for next year. All right, so the first presentation that my esteemed colleagues uh, will comment on is titled, Students' Power, Improving Education Through Collaboration. You can clap. Thank you. Now, let's watch that presentation. Hello, everyone. We are from Niho Fukushi University. Chai and Sleime from Cambodia, and Sushira is from Nepal. Nice to meet you, everyone. So the topic of our presentation today is students' power, improving education through collaboration. So please pay attention to this picture. Why do they belong to the construction site in Cambodia? Well, the answer is because they stop studying in the secondary school. And in order to work in a technological factory, they need basic English or basic computer skills. Thinking of GDP per capita, one person product ability differ obviously. As you can see from this data, there is a big difference between Cambodia and Japan. So the main source of employment in Cambodia is agriculture and the national budget is around eight billion dollars. I predict that if Cambodia switches from agriculture to industrial, it will gain 90 billion dollars. Anyways, please pay attention to this picture. They work 8 or 10 hours a day, but the money they get is different. This is a population pyramid of Cambodia. Look at this age from 10 to 30. It is vast percentage of the population. 10 years later, these ages will become center of working people. A very large workforce will appear 10 years. It is very important for Cambodia to have a good education in primary school. We hope that the new 10-year workforce will be learn basic English, math, mathematics, and computer skills. We can do it by using ICT education. We have to develop this strong project. Under collaboration with JICA, we would like to build it. I believe it surely make education better. This is the way of our project. For Japanese students make a digital content in English. That will be interesting and funny to hook the child's mind. Second, we think that to Cambodian university students, they will remake that into Khmer version. That will be used in the classroom and uh, home learning. Finally, we will upload that in our website called um, Kids. As a JICA project, we would like to apply this concept to sum up for 10 primary model scores. We expect will be we expect this project 
will be successful and encourage teachers in other schools. We hope ICT education will be stable. Kids in the class can enjoy sounds, movies, and dynamic action. This is my school, Kobe Yumi Primary School, and we have a good connection with Japanese students. As Wojo's meeting friend, Kyogo High School, and Nihon Fukushi High School. My student enjoys this learning with Japanese students so much. Once again, after receiving this content from Japan, I developed this one. Hi everyone, this is Rimei. I learned that Sailibur is a big problem. Like Cambodia, some people cannot go to school. This is teaching materials created by Nihon Fukushi University students. I discovered this type of materials so is work in Nepal as well. I would like to the use same content in Nepal with uh, my Nepali friends like this. After doing so, we can share the technical materials, teaching materials all over the world. This is the draft content made by Nihon Fukushima University students. Hi. Hi audience, please play a role of my Cambodian kids. Here we go. So, let's study together. Some bay đâu tụi con chỉ mà xong rồi bắt hai bom tàng pì nè. Chừng tao vô hai bom tì muối, bao chừng muối nó tụi con hai bom tì pì rồi chạy nó pì. This is student power, improving education through collaboration. Thank you so much. Okay, now let's listen to Professor Nakanishi's comments on this presentation. Nakanishi, please. Hello, Gary Sensei. Thank you for your introduction. And hello, everyone. I feel very honored to be part of this great international event. I listened to many presentations yesterday and enjoyed the results of many young people's collaborative work. Today, the world seems to be overshadowed by the pandemic, symptoms of economic problems caused by the war in the Ukraine and some other political conflicts. Many people may have a gloomy feeling, but thankfully, the 24th World Youth Meeting has cheered me up, and as I have seen you, young people, expressing your ideas and opinions, trying to find answers to challenging problems. I want to say thank you to all the participants for making my life a 70-year-old man brighter. Especially the presentation we just watched focusing on the improvement of education in Cambodia and the benefits of collaboration, it helps me believe the coming future will be brighter. An important thing we can learn from your presentation is that your PowerPoint slides don't carry lengthy sentences. There were too many words, but these appropriately included visually appealing images 
charts and graphs and some words that worked very efficiently with your spoken words sometimes I had a hard time understanding your English just because your English is maybe affected by your first languages I hope you will make some efforts to improve your articulation however your strong mind conveyed your message to the audience and that made up for the flaws as English education practitioners I hope you will continue to collaborate with others and raise the quality of each other's and your classes. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Nakanishi. The next video we will watch is called how we reduce the waste and give well-being to disadvantaged. Video, please. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, everyone, please welcome them with a big hand. Hi, welcome to the talk show hosted by Feng Qi Senior High School and Kikuzato Senior High School. Today's topic is about organic fertilizers and crops cultivated with organic fertilizers. Here, we have invited a team of professors specializing in fertilizers and farmers who cooperated with their scholars to come to our show. First of all, Professor, could you tell us what motivated you to do this research? Yes, because my family has been farming for generations. I've often seen them using chemical fertilizers. But if we use organic fertilizers, everyone around me can eat healthy, I thought. Would you simply explain why organic fertilizers are better than the chemical ones? Organic fertilizers improve soil life and thus bring about long-term productivity of soil. Besides, it contains carbon, which is also good for soil and plant. How about Professor Akini? I'm not that you to count us. In our school, we discovered that a school staff member who is a friendly lady has raised a single friend family. Well, is there anything you can do to help her? Since I specialized in fertilization and compost, I decided to provide her with the vegetables we have grown. This not only reduced her financial pressure, but also created a friendly and caring campus. What a great plan! If I were a staff, I would be very glad about that. Thanks for Akina's help. My daughter and I have benefited from the caring team. I'm truly touched that they provided me with organic vegetables. I'm interested in what substance you have used to make your organic compost. Did you use kitchen waste or fruit spill? In our school, there are a lot of school lunch leftovers. Therefore, we wanted to use the leftovers to compost, thereby reducing the waste and promoting sustainable development. It sounds awesome. This plan not only reduces food waste, but benefits the environment. Now, let us welcome researcher Takuma to introduce the process of their project of composting and outcome in detail. But be careful, the accomplishment is not fertilization. It is fertilizers to grow the plant. Ha ha ha, that's right. We use organic fertilization to grow spinach and sweet potato leaves for this project. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, 
Now let me share a video clip with you first. We'll explain how to make the compost. First, we do something that promotes fermentation in the container. Second, add the weighted spoon. Third, we must do something that promotes fermentation from above again. After that, mix once every two or three days so that the, that the hole is fermented. Continue to put the garbage for about three months and then leave it there for one month to mature. Put the fertilizer made of fruit peels in a bucket and dilute it. Pour it into the soil every other week. We also share the tapes with farmer and do the compost. Wow, you really make an all-out effort. It's definitely a great idea. This is a video regarding the action of composting and plants. We also share with farmers this composting tips to obtain more benefits. Well, Tell us what benefits you have got from this skill they have shared with you. Yes, the organic fertilizer made with kitchen waste is much healthier than the chemical one. After using the organic fertilizer, the crop grows significantly. We want to give these vegetables to the neighbors. It seems that this plant also indirectly helps the others, not only you. Of course, but to be honest, we fell in the beginning. Then, in the second drill, we controlled the amount of fertilizer and took care of it more carefully. Finally, we have grown this plant successfully. We have to admit that it was indeed a challenge to us. Will you collaborate with other organizations or institutions in the future? In aspect of school and society, we will collaborate with military instructors' offices and citizen service offices. We want to spread our awareness and help lost starving people. Wow, good job! So we are achieving SDGs number two and three, right? That's right. We are managing to promote zero hunger and ensure life to be as healthy as we can. Even though this action is just a small step, a drop in the ocean may make a difference if everyone contributes. Drop a drop in the ocean may make a difference. Thanks for your attention. Let's give them a big hand. And now we will listen to a few comments from Professor Nakanishi. Professor Nakanishi, please. Hello again, everyone. Uh, this is another good presentation. The good point is, first, you were talking in a very friendly, and cheerful way. So it was easier for the audience to concentrate on listening to you. Second, the content was appealing. You chose a challenging topic, but your message is persuasive as you introduce to us very practical and concrete examples to achieve the two goals, uh, zero hunger and good health and welfare. However, let me dare to point out some things that you should improve so that you can be more excellent orators or presenters. I had a hard time catching your English more often than the former presentation. Why? 
because your English is affected by your first languages more. Which is easier for the audience to understand? A drop in the ocean may make a difference. Thank you for listening to us. Or, a drop in the ocean may make a difference. Thank you for listening to us. You got it? When we speak in English, our English sounds should be in the range of a standard. If it goes out of the range, the audience will have a hard time following it. I don't mean that you have to speak like a native speaker, but listen to English news programs broadcast in your countries. Listen to those newscasters speak English. Their English is affected by their first languages, but they show you a good model. Their English is easy to understand and sounds good in a cross-cultural setting. Good luck, boys and girls. You are the next generation that's going to make this world a better one. Thank you. And thank you again, Professor Nakanishi. See you next year. All right. So the next video, video number three that we are going to watch is called Students' Wasted Innovations and Ideas. Please start the video. Like Indonesia, we are ready. Please start. Do you know that based on our data of 50 people from various countries, like Indonesia, Japan, Taiwan, Korea, Spain, it is suggested that 75% 70, 70 of student ideas and innovations have never been applied to communities in a rally system their researches after joining competition. Also, it suggested that 71.4% of students in scientific research cause the competition only to students. That's why we, from this makeup and session your team, you get a team to bring up this problem about students' wasted innovations and ideas. The activities connected to this program are SDG number 4, 8, and 9. Innovation is the creation and implementation of new products or services. It can bring less to the nation and help help the great for developing more innovation. Why do we choose this topic? One. Today, there are some research only competition, but based on our data, most students do research because of competition only in the region. Two, many innovations are being wasted after the, after the winner announcement because they are partly being replaced in, 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 in real life. Three, there are a bunch of potential solutions from students, but they don't have enough power, so they need someone with more authority to pass on the ideas. Okay, so we will take the word to meeting as an example. We are all here changing the word to meeting to come up with innovations, right? 
competitions like what you're creating are very important to build students' critical thinking and also problem solving. We have seen many innovations offered by all participants. We need to ensure that the innovations that are proposed here at the WYM can be implemented in real life. Our focus here is here is to one, we bring the students and the government for implementation of business innovation. Two, to create a collaborative platform for students to pattern their ideas. Three, to build an innovation community among students. Our solution is an ICT-based solution. Will you be inspired by Google Scholar that focuses on the and it's the solution that we're talking about is a worldwide website called Trust and Companies. The one partner as well let's make an outstanding solution. It will consist of first one is research ideas. This is a page where we collect senior research and also academic journals. The second one is research competition. We will provide many research competition information for students to join. The third one is sharing page. In this page, students and companies can give solutions and advice to each other. In this slide, we can an example where a student asks about her research idea and the company gives advice to her. And the fourth one is event page. We will look at event information here. We will also provide a news and write on the expression page. We will greet the students and the government and companies. We will try to make an MOU with the government so that the government must regularly do some innovation in the website. The government can implement the innovations in government programs. We will invite the transfer company, the students who run the website, and socialize other students about research. We will also involve the spirit, um, spirit element to help reach the spirit and the government. So how do we make money? First is paid promotion. This is where research and innovation event organizers can advertise their events in our website. Second is premium feature. This is where viewers can pay more to access unlimited academic journals. Three, creating a crowdfunding event. Some of the events that we are thinking are, first, start me up. This is like a faculty fair between our researchers and startup companies so they can promote their academic research. Mention government petition. This is an online petition for citizens so that they can vote for research that highly relevant and urgent to be funded by the government. And the last one is talk and share. So we will have a monthly sharing session, student to student interaction inspired by Chatbot. What will happen if our solution successfully is implemented in real life? Sustainable life in the future will be achieved. Active learning method in schools will effectively implement it. More innovation, creating videos and job creating will be created, and the last one is English field employment. So, welcome to improve ideas. Everyone, this is from <laughs> All right, now I will give uh, some of my comments. Uh, and I'm sorry I have to sit. Uh, recently I hurt my foot, twisted my foot, and it's still very purple. Uh, and I have problems standing for a long time. So if you are my friend on Instagram, you saw the pictures of my purple foot. You. All right, so I think uh, this presentation caught the judge's attention because it speaks to the heart of the World Youth Meeting. In fact, I was give, having a conversation with a student from Nagoya yesterday. I noticed that his group was asking a lot of questions. I chatted with his group after we had finished all the presentations. 
he mentioned that his group, sorry, I can't see. <laughs> uh, he mentioned that his group was asking a lot of questions because they were eager to find out what the presenters were going to do next. He felt most of the presentations had great ideas, but he was worried that they were probably not going to continue the project after the World Youth Meeting. I had to agree with him. All of you showed us various problems and your solutions, your ideas. But how many of you are going to work to make those solutions real? We know the problems are real because you found them. We know that the world right now is suffering because there are so many problems. And this group, the presentation we just watched, showed us one way to help implement your solutions by using PROS, a great website that lets students bridge, create, and build from their ideas to the real world. No, I did not get money from this website. Cody Isaac. I hope that by using it or using your youth and your power, you will try to make your solutions and suggestions real. I would also like to compliment this team on their great teamwork. Teamwork that must have come from lots of practice and discussion. This is the goal for all of us, to be able to work like them, smoothly, whether together or using ICT around the world. Thank you for your great example. Now, let's watch the last presentation. The title of this presentation is your pleasure, my pleasure. Video, please. Ready with the PowerPoint slides, and then the MC will again ask, please start, and then you go, okay? Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, presentators, are you ready? Yeah, we are ready. All right, please start the presentation. Moreover, 
According to research, there are about 6,000 teenagers attempting to commit suicide generously per year in Taiwan and Japan. Therefore, in order to better understand why there are so many teenagers suffering from mental problems, we found out that there are some factors, which are school grades, parental expectations, and their relationship. The third. In terms of all the above information, we conducted a survey which consisted of 106 students from Taiwan and Japan. The results show that 70% of students think that school grade, their relationships, and parental expectations are the main factors which cause a mental health problem. Probably, you can tell how many students feel stressed in daily life. So, we are going to create a social media about mental health problems. According to the, our questionnaire, as many as 82% of students will be attracted by our social media in order to find out more useful information. In addition to that, we think fidget toys help to calm a person's nerves and relieve stress because they serve as a kind of distraction. Based on our questionnaire, about 60% of students are willing, are willing to try such a simple toy. it's pretty clear uh, why the judges singled out this presentation. Just like the last group, they had very good teamwork. 
During their presentation, we saw them work together smoothly and effortlessly. They had clearly practiced well and knew their individual parts inside and out. That is what we all want to aim for. Even us teachers have to try to have this kind of professional-looking timing. Another standout feature of this presentation was the way they spoke. Did you notice they spoke clearly? It was easy to follow them. Why? One important factor was the pace of their speaking. They spoke slowly and stressed the important points with their voices. Not only that, but the information on the slides helped us to follow what they were saying. Key words and images that guided us to understand and follow them. Excellent. Finally, they had a good, well thought out plan. They stated the problem, students struggling with mental health issues, clearly. They proved this by using surveys. Then they took us through both short and long-term proposals or actions that can help these students or any of us. Finally. The subject matter was very important and aimed at the majority of the people here today at the World Youth Meeting. Who among us has not suffered from some mental health issues or depression? It is meaningful. I only hope that they will continue to work on this project and spread the information about this using, as they do, sites like Instagram. Good job. So, in closing this comment section, I hope that all of you could learn something from Professor Nakanishi and my comments. Please remember, there is no such thing as a totally bad presentation. There is no such thing as a perfect presentation either. Doing, is, doing a presentation is like life. We have to take the time and reflect on what we are doing with an open and positive mind. When we do this, we can always find some way to improve. So please, keep your hearts and minds open and focus on the positives. Then we can overcome the many problems plaguing the world today and have a brighter future. Thank you. And back to you in Ritsumenkangana. Oh, there they are. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you so much. And hi, my name is Maya from Ritzmanka High School. And everyone, let's stretch. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> okay, let's stretch. 
Okay, it's almost done, so please be patient. Okay, so we have three different, so we have an announcement about the afternoon session, and we have three different activities in the afternoon. The first one is a discussion session, and we have six rooms. And as we mentioned before, uh, you have chosen the, which topic, which are, which you gonna join the afternoon. So I'm sure you have already finished the watching the each video, topic video. And so I have an announcement for the rooms. You have to go the afternoon for this main poll, for people in the main poll. And as Asfal Sensei mentioned in the morning, uh, room one to three is online discussion and we don't have a space, specific space to connect the online, so you have to look for the place you you will connect. I'm so sorry for that. And room four is uh, is in the, this main hall. So if you chose the room four, top four, so you have to come back to this main hall. And room five is in the conference room on the fifth floor. And room six is at the side room of this main hall. It, yeah, side room, side room of this main room, main hall. So, and the discussion session will start from 12:30 in Japan time. So it's about it's gonna start one and a half hour later and yes and please enter in discussion room with your oh this is this information for the online people and please enter the your room with your mic mute and video on and yeah once you have entered the room please follow the MCs for each rooms and when you oh sorry when the discussion is over only room leader will come back to this main room main hall and make a brief report of the of your room discussions and yeah uh, while others the other members will watch the youtube live in uh, each room and for people from people from here, uh, please, yeah, please go to the each room, each room, each your each room you chose. It no. Uh. Yeah, each room by twelve twelve thirty. And you don't have to connect the internet, uh, uh, computer, so you don't have to bring a microphone or camera. So the second, the second one is the coffee talk after the discussion session. And third is the word youth meaning showcase. So you you can enter each room from their homepage well for online people. Gary, you from homepage, and I think there is a URL for the okay, just for the homepage. Okay, uh, Gary, this is the end of the morning session. Uh, I'll be the information that is that is important. Uh, we will meet you guys at the discussion session at twelve sorry Japan time. If you have not watched, if you have not watched the uh, the videos of six rooms, please watch them during the lunch time, and choose one room to enter and join. We hope we will have another hot discussion in discussion session. Is there any other additional comments for teachers? <laughs> 